Get out of the house. I don't like the kids being around that racist sunflower that's growing in our yard. Hey, boy, don't you come walking by this house. You're ignorant. Be pretty. Just like you said, I am. Love, Meg. Meg, you are so full of crap. You're like those people who sit in Starbucks and publicly write on their laptops. Hey, getting some writing done there, buddy? Yeah, setting up in public so everybody can watch me type my big screenplay. Me too. All real writers need to be seen writing, otherwise what's the point, right? You should totally write that down. Okay, will you watch me? Hello, Flair. <laughs> uh, look at him in that tank top. He looks more pathetic than John Merrick when he went on Match.com. There's no way you're a size six. Doggone it. If he wanted a pig, why didn't he just take my wife? And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conway Twitty. There's no need in going over all the things that took me under. Oh, on this lawn. Brian, I've had enough of this. It's more disgusting than when you gave me that Christmas gift. Oh, what is it? A little birdie? Uh... Oh, my God, it's dead! Brian! Oh, oh, Brian, this is disgusting! Oh, my God, get it out of here! I'm, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought you'd like it. Brian, I love it! I'm gonna call you Sticky Head. I love you, Sticky Head. Brian... Get used to it. Hey, have you gone yet? Have you popped your butt, Cherry? You know, you should be more sensitive to my humiliation. You remember how bad you felt when you drew that picture for Peter and Lois? Oh, Stewie, it's wonderful. This is going right up on the fridge. Really? The fridge? It's like we have a little Michelangelo in the house. Okay, see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> I almost lost it when you said to put it on the fridge. I know. What the hell is it supposed to be, a pelican or a school bus? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Muhammad Ali drew this. <laughs> what, what a dumbass. <laughs> hey, let's spit on it. <laughs> What your definition of the word jizz is. Oh, God. I've been a worse wife than Lorena Bobbitt when she was married to the thing. Oh, my God. Where is it? Where'd she throw it? Oh, God. Oh, God. Is this what you're looking for? Situations. Ah, Quagmire, I know your heart's in the right place, but I need to sort this out for myself. I haven't misjudged someone this bad since my last physical. All right. The doctor will be in in a few minutes. Would make us even. All right, Lois, if you really think it'll work. Trust me, it'll work better than the first telephone. Well, we did it, Watson. What an afternoon. We finally perfected the first telephone. Yeah, uh, hey, listen, somebody called me today. Uh, whoever it was said some very sexual things, some very angry sexual things. Oh, really? Probably just some teenagers somewhere. Damn them. Well, that, that, that's the thing. I mean, I, there's only two phones in the... Well, in, in the world, and one of them's in my office and the other's in your office, and those two didn't even exist until about a few hours ago. Yikes. I could use a distraction right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conway Twitty. I can almost hear the stillness as it yields to the sound of your heart beating. Bum, bum, bum. Curious, it's a little weird. Look, you know what? She's hot. Guilty. All right? I haven't been so struck by a woman's beauty since I was Uma Thurman's eye wrangler on the set of Pulp Fiction. No, you can't promise something like that. I have no idea what you're going to say to me. So you can go ahead and say what you're going to say, and my natural response could be to get offended. Then, through no fault of my own, I wouldn't have kept my promise. Hang on! Okay! 